Okay, I'm gonna try this, even though I still have a nasty cold. And uh, I promise to turn off the mic every time I hack. Uh, so, um, up next uh, in the Hammerfall Griffball Court contest is Columbia's Courtyard. Uh, I'm noticing that the entry actually says Columbia Square. Uh, so I went to his file list to see if there was a new version and it's not searchable. So so builders, uh, you have to remember until they fix the glitch that every time you work on your map, you have to turn the search visibility back on. So since this is the only version I have, uh, I'm assuming it's the right one. If not, let me know. Um, okay, so I'm going to try to power through all the rest of the, uh, the the initial technical reviews for all the new entries and uh, just to make sure that uh, you guys get a, a good chance to get them repaired if they need repairs. Um, the entries that are in the first column in the uh, Trello board, uh, I'm just I'm not going to do more videos on them. I'm just going to do them by text between myself and the builder. So I, if you're map is still in the column make sure you have a conversation going with me at forge hub and we'll get it working and up to date there i probably won't be doing videos on anything other than new courts and um uh yeah just probably just new courts and maybe a new a round two on the new courts as well uh, so what I'm going to try doing uh, after my cold gets better, I wanted to do all these live stream, but um, I'm going to have to wait till my uh, cold gets better because <coughs> I'm not. Hold on. Oh my god, I'm not going through that uh, on live stream. So, put very simply put, I'm not doing that on live stream. Um, uh, it looks like these sh these should be okay. There's not a lot of an overlap. Or, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm standing here right now. Let's just let's just test these first. I found a good way to test is you look at it in forage mode and you just go back to monitor mode and you go back and forth until you don't move. And then that way you hit it bang on. These look to be, uh, they look to be fine. And I'm sure that he's got other courts that had issues before and he's repaired them. So I, I'm sure the wall hop will be, there. the clamber ledge will be fine. Uh, I wish we had sky hooks in uh, Griff Ball. That would be cool. <laughs> I love me a good sky hook game. Um, containment looks to be perfect. It looks to be right off the, uh, the templates, uh, which is good. This one's on, uh, Parallax, which has some weird lighting occasionally, but it's a gorgeous canvas for this sort of thing. Uh, I see he's got that. Now, just so he knows, he could put a big gravity slider all around the uh, court and have them go around on gravity sliders. That would be cool, but it also, you know, takes performance and budget to do that. Uh, his budget. Hold on. His budget looks uh, pretty high, but um, I haven't noticed any indication of uh, frame rate so far. Let me go. Let me go corner to corner on that to see. And uh, and I don't see anything. And it's kind of puzzling why it's a very simple looking map, but the the uh, piece count is pretty high for... Uh, let me just uh, have a look outside the map. And yeah, it must just be in the, the finer details. Um, that's not a whole lot of pieces. Yeah, I can't figure it out. It's uh, 1,289 pieces, and it looks more like it's five or 600. So I, I don't know. As I said, it, it could just be in the, the finer details, I'm assuming, like the, the brickwork and stuff like that. But but anyhow, that's 
not too much of a concern, I guess. As, as long as there's no frame rate, that shouldn't be a problem. It's just kind of baffling. It just doesn't look like it uh, uses that many pieces. Ah, anyhow, that's that's not a big deal. Uh, as I say, as long as your frame rate's under control, the map performs well. That's really all I care about. Uh, floor looks uh, smooth. Uh, let me just check these bumps or lack of bumps and they are perfectly smooth yeah everything's perfectly smooth the uh, spawns appear to be maybe a touch low let's see yeah your, your spawns can pop up just a bit uh, they're actually it doesn't look like it but they're actually embedded inside the invisible blockers so you could just move them up one unit uh, just or you do this you move you move one of them up one unit like so okay and you change it back to physics and then you grab it and you go map bar sorry object select all of you go to position you go one up or one down and one up and what that does is it makes you can see this now it makes all of them to the, go to the same height as this one that self-adjusted uh, by setting it to normal so now all of these spawns will be set to the same height and then in that case you just grab your your um, you grab your initials and you just magnetize them so that they snap to the other one to the uh, to the respawn yeah so it's not really a big deal that they're embedded in the floor but it's just a, a smoother transition between respawning and moving if your your player actually spawns with the feet directly on the floor rather than having the game move you to the floor I don't know if it makes any difference in time Sometimes there's a just the slightest visual bump when you spawn or a visual drop depending on if your spawns are floating. But for Griff Ball I'd just rather prefer that you use like normal physics to set one of the one down and then just match them all to that, that same height. Or you just do uh if you didn't have the initial spawns here, what I would normally do is select them all, move them up, change all the the respawns just change them to normal physics let them go select them select all and then change them back to phase physics that way they're all just sitting flat on the floor but your floor is so accurate this the setting i just this uh, method i did is just fine so that is all that i can see with this court as far as issues go now there's a perch right here very minor and Uh, I may not be able to stand on it, but others may. Yeah, um... Yeah, just, just move that. Just... It, it's probably good, but I don't know. I, I got a toehold on it, but I don't know if I could actually stand on it, so... Um, here, here's the best way. To, here, here's the cheating way to tell. <laughs> this is the best way to tell if a toehold is actually a toehold just walk off and you see for just a second there you could hold on there I don't know if that much is an issue uh, you know what it's not an issue you fall off the ball won't get caught on there the players won't be able to stand on it that, that's fine uh, what it may not be fine is if this block shifts back then it may provide a more of a toehold but I have uh, these these uh, square 90, 90 degree blocks tend to not shift as much as the ones that are turned on an angle. So you should be a, you should be fine with that. Don't worry about that. Okay. Well, I hope I don't eat my words on that, but don't worry about it. It's still within sword range too, so 
Uh, it's in w within scope sword range. So either way, it should be fine. It should be fine. So fix your spawns. That's it. You can fix that perch if you want. It's up to you. Just move it back just a hair. You have the room to do it, so you could do that as well. Uh, but otherwise, um, I'm going to move this. Uh, you, you've been really quick. Uh, Muller has been really quick at uh, repairing his uh, his other courts. So I'm going to just move this one on to the last round and just trust that he fixed those spawns. And as I say, they're not game breaking anyhow. They're just a, a high high recommendation. Um, so I'm going to just push this on to the. Um, into the, the final round with all the others. And, uh, and that's it for this one. Thank you.